Good evening, parents and guardians, but especially good evening to the class of 2020. This is the ninth annual Minarets Senior Scholarship Awards. That's right, nine years. For nine years, we've been giving students scholarships from all of our various donors and participants throughout the communities. In all the communities that we serve, from North Fork to Oakhurst, Korsgold, Madera, Fresno, and Chowchilla, and other areas even, we have contributed to the success of our young men and women going on to the next level. And tonight is no different. We face a few challenges as we're not able to be here all together, but nevertheless, we will not stop in celebrating the success of our students. So tonight, sit back, relax. We're gonna announce the recipients of all of our scholarships. Thank you for being here. Before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to the organizations that have continuously contributed to this event. Your continued support ensures that our students have a bright future and they're rewarded for all of their efforts throughout their high school career. Without further ado, we'd like to get started. I'd like to welcome Mr. Patrick Wilson to begin this evening. Good evening, everyone. I have four awards to start the proceedings tonight. First up, the American Legion. Each year, we ask our applicants why we as Americans should serve our veterans. One applicant's personal experience with veterans and his perspective of service through his day-to-day -day respect towards our veterans and all actions, great and small, led us to choose Michael Scheller for the American Legion Community Award. Congratulations, Michael. Next up is the American Legion Auxiliary Award. We asked our applicants to write an essay on what the word veterans means to them. This applicant's response, this question conveyed his deep personal understanding of what a veteran is. From her personal family's military service to her personal actions in service to our veterans, we are proud to present Mandy Villanueva with the American Legion Auxiliary Community Award. Congratulations, Mandy. Next up is the Bass Lake Chamber of Commerce. We are honored to present the Bass Lake Chamber of Commerce Scholarship for 2020 to Mandy Villanueva also. Congratulations, Mandy, again. <laughs> Finally, Be the Power of One. The mission to be the power of one is to promote education in developing communities, leading to more sustainable communities. Be the Power of One has selected Rebecca Townsend as the award recipient this year as she starts her path on the way to being an educator. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Next, we'd like to welcome Ms. Autumn Alford with her recipients. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that we are able to present these two scholarships to two very deserving young ladies. They both have worked tirelessly in high school and have achieved academic success, and they will both make wonderful teachers. On behalf of the California Retired Teachers Association, congratulations, Lindsay Martin and Rebecca Townsend. Camarena Health is pleased to announce that Caitlin Huff will be receiving a scholarship for $2,000 as she works towards her career as a physical therapist. Chawanaki Educational Foundation proudly presents the Cal Barnett Memorial Scholarship to Rhett Samper for his continued education in natural resources. And the Chawanaki Ed Educational Foundation would also like to present for the Exemplary Student Scholarship to Kate Huff. Thank you. Now I would like to present some of our recipients tonight, starting with the Chawanaki Education Foundation Future Educators Scholarship. We are proud to award the scholarship to Rebecca Townsend for her pursuit of a career in education. Next, we'd like to present the Ching Ohana Scholarship. The Ching Ohana Scholarship is given to a student who demonstrates exemplary community service, dedication, ambition, and a heart for continuing to serve in the community. This year, the Ching Ohana Scholarship is awarded to Kate Huff, and Nicholas Rowland. Congratulations. 
The Chowchilla Western Stamp Stampede recognizes students who plan to pursue a career in agriculture, and this year they have recognized Mr. Rhett Samper. Congratulations, Rhett. The Senior Volunteer Program 456 CHP Oakhurst. The California Highway Patrol Senior Volunteer Program in Oakhurst provides senior adult men and women the opportunity to, uh, to volunteer time to assist the CHP employees in the performance of their duties. The CHP Volunteer Program has won the 2015 Outstanding Achievement in Law Enforcement Volunteer Programs Award from the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Although many of these volunteers have no prior experience in law enforcement, they have a desire to give back to the community. The Oakhurst SVP 456 Fund senior volunteers formed a committee with their group to recognize and assist high school seniors who choose a career in criminal justice. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Darren Coleman. May you find success in your goals and fulfillment within this exciting field. Congratulations, Darren. Next, we'd like to welcome Ms. Claudia Vandenberg with her list of recipients. Hi, seniors. So the first award I have is the Course Gold Chamber of Commerce, who provides a scholarship each year to a student who develops a plan for a potential business opportunity in Eastern Madera County. This year's creative winner is Rebecca Townsend. Congratulations, Rebecca. The Course Gold Gold Prospectors Scholarship Committee would like to thank the applicants for their participation. All of the applicants should be commended for their academic and community service accomplishments. There is no elevators to success. You have to take the stairs. We would like to congratulate this year's scholarship recipient, Rhett Samper. Congratulations, Rhett. Now the Evelyn Dukoff Evelyn Dukoff was an artist and educator in Eastern Madera County for many years. In fact, she even taught at Spring Valley, some of our board members, I believe. She was a great promoter of the arts and education in the arts. This scholarship was started as a way to support students who are planning a career in the visual and performing arts. The first recipient will be studying to be a music teacher at Fresno State and has been accepted as a member of the Fresno State Bulldog Beat. Congratulations go to J.C. Kuhn. Congrats, J.C. The second recipient will also be attending Fresno State with a focus on photography and media arts. Congratulations, Isaac Shapiro. Congrats, Isaac. Okay, and now the Fearless Ministry at YLCC, Yosemite Lakes Community Church, would like to recognize these young, young women who have proven that resiliency will get them through any situation in their lives. Not only do they have clear vision of what really matters in life, they also have clear vision that without having Jesus in their lives, nothing else matters. Tonight, on behalf of the Fearless Women's Ministry team at YLCC, we are honored to award $500 scholarships to Mackenzie Camacho, Kate Huff, Rebecca Townsend, and Synovia Wald. Congratulations, young ladies. Thank you, Mrs. Vandenberg. Next, we'd like to welcome Mrs. Chacon. Hi, everyone. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes is a sports ministry to see the world impacted for Christ. The following athletes demonstrated commitment to Jesus Christ and his word through integrity, serving, teamwork, and excellence. The, recipi the recipients are TJ Garner, Kate Huff, Rhett Samper, and Synovia Wolt. Congrats. Grow Ag Leaders encourages rural youth to remain in agriculture by providing college scholarships administered by the National FFA organization to support their education in ag-related fields. This year, they recognize Autumn Pekarevich with a $1,500 scholarship. The future of agriculture is growing and this outstanding student is a part of it. This scholarship is given to a student who plans on majoring or minoring in music and who has a commitment to benefiting others through music in the future. This year's recipient has already shown her ability to share music with others. Congratulations goes to Ms. JC Kuhn. 
Frank Verduzco was born and raised in North Fork. He graduated from Sierra High School and was a volunteer firefighter in North Fork from the time he was 21 years old until his untimely death in 2015, a total of 43 years. He also worked for Ponderosa Telephone as a lineman for the same number of years and worked in almost every area of their outdoor operations. His love of service to his community was one of the most important aspects of his life along with his family and friends. He was the first one to arrive and the last one to leave. So it is his honor that the North Fork Volunteer Fire Department Auxiliary is pleased to bestow a $1,000 scholarship with the option to renew for one year to a graduating senior in the Chuanakee Unified School District. The young man who is receiving this award has risen above far from a normal start in life to become a self-assured, compassionate individual with great plans to better the world for his family and community. He is not only a good student, but a well-rounded person, active in his school and community and determined to meet his goals in life. He plans to major in athletic training. It is with great pleasure that we award the Frank Verduzco Memorial Scholarship to Nicholas Rowland. Congrats, Nick. Thank you, Mrs. Chacon. Next, we'd like to invite Mrs. Herrera to present her recipients. Hello, seniors. The Gilbert Marshall Memorial Scholarship is happy to um, partner with Minarets High School in offering support to students who are working to excel and set goals for the next great adventure in their lives. Each of the student recipients provided the panel with evidence that they can navigate roadblocks, overcome setbacks, and continue a forward path towards their planned destination. We would like to thank My Job Depends on Act for contributing to our scholarship fund in the form of additional award money to be attached to our first recipient. Um, it, in selecting the first recipient, both um, GMMS and My Job Depends on Ag see a bright future for this young lady and her determining contribution to keep agriculture relevant in our lives. Good luck to class of 2020. The recipients are Mackenzie Camacho, Darren Coleman, Austin Eves, Caitlin Huff, and Michael Scheller. The Golden Chain Award scholarships to students pursuing a major in a minor in the visual or performing arts. This year's winner will be um, minoring in drama and contributing to share her passion with other teachers. Congratulations, Lindsay Martin. Ladies of the Lake, um, would like to recognize Alexandria Corkins as a recipient this year, wishing you the best, Lexi, in your future medical career. The Madera County Farm Bureau is very excited in the future of these three individuals. They will be receiving a multi-year award of 1,000 for four years. The recipients are Mackenzie Camacho, Peyton Poor, and Michael Scheller. Congratulations. Thank you. We'd like to welcome back Mrs. Vandenberg, Hi again. So the Madera County School Board Association recognizes students who demonstrate good citizenship and have a wide range of community service and extracurricular activities. This year's award goes to Caitlin Hoff. Congratulations, Kate. Next, the Re Madera Republican Women Federated is proud to present a $500 scholarship again to Caitlin Huff as she pursues, pursues her career in physical therapy. Kate's strong moral character and extraordinary work ethic, coupled with her concern for helping others, will ensure her success. Congratulations, Kate. The Marine Corps League, Griswold Detachment number 1121, provides scholarships to students who have a relative that is either currently serving or has previously served in the Marine Corps or Marine Corps Reserves. The congratulations this year go to Mandy Villanueva and Sanovi Wold. Congrats again. And then finally, the Mariposa Madera County AXA Charter Scholarship goes to Rebecca Michelle Townsend. This scholarship is sponsored by school administrators throughout Mariposa and Madera counties. The scholarship goes to someone who is considering a career in education who has demonstrated success in their high school career. Rebecca certainly has done that through her career at Minarets. We wish Rebecca the best of luck as she continues her education and hope she plans to come back and teach in Madera County, maybe at Minarets even. 
Best of luck to you, Rebecca. Please welcome back Mrs. Chico. All right, the Minarets Foundation is happy to support the future goals of our students. We value the dedication of our students as they have shown their in, in their academics, extracurricular activities, and particularly to community service. This year, we award the following students for their dedication. Miranda Adams, Mackenzie Camacho, Kate Huff, and Megan Redmond. The Minarets Volleyball Program is proud to have out, such outstanding student athletes in our program. Our first recipient was one of our captains this year, and she was named to first team all league. She will be continuing her volleyball career at Orange Coast Community College, Miss Haley Crow. Our second recipient was MVP of the league during her senior season and will be continuing her volleyball career at San Diego Mesa Community College, Miss Riley Mackey. Finally, our last recipient has been in the program all four years, holding a cumulative GPA of 3.93 and holding a 4.17 GPA during her senior year. She will be attending college at Clovis Community, Miss Mia Shockley. The North Fork Boosters gives two awards, one to a former Loggers Jamboree Queen and the second to a North Fork student has, who has done valuable service in their community. This year's recipients are JC Kuhn for community service and Caitlin Huff for both community service and being a Jamboree Queen. The North Fork Chamber Awards, a North awards a North Fork student who plans on majoring in business or political science. This year's recipient is Felicity Johnson, who plans to major in business at Fresno City College. Congrats, Felicity. Thank you. We'd like to welcome back Mr. Wilson. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Big shout out to North Fork for all their scholarships. I have a couple of them right now. North Fork Lions Club is proud to present two scholarships this year for students who attended North Fork Elementary. Those recipients are Luna Moreno and Nicholas Rowland. Congratulations, Nick and Luna. The North Fork School Faculty Club has made an endowment to award scholarships to their students. Caitlin Huff, Felicity Johnson, Luna Moreno, and Nicholas Rowland are recipients of this award this year. Congratulations to all of them. The North Fork Women's Club recognizes female students living in the North Fork area that have been involved in the community. This year's awards go to Michelle Agundes, JC Kuhn, Caitlin Huff, and Luna Moreno. Congratulations to all those girls. Finally, a shout out to Oakhurst, the Oakhurst Democratic Club. The Oakhurst Democratic Club is very happy to award scholarships for students who have done extensive research and service in their community, both in and out of school. Congratulations this year to Rebecca Townsend for that award. Thank you. Welcoming back, Ms. Herrera. Hello. Ochre Sierra Rotary Noon. Um, the Ochre Sierra Rotary Club is pleased to recognize Michael Scheller and Haley Warnock for their outstanding achievement and service to our mountain community. Congratulations. Ochre Sierra Rotary Sunrise Club would like, is pleased to recognize Luna Moreno and Michael Scheller. Um, our heartiest congratulations to the recipients of these awards. The Raymond Community Association board members are honored to award our $500 scholarship to Miranda Jean Adams for the outstanding academic achievement and selfless service to her community. Congratulations, Miranda. Congratulations to Alexia, Alexia, Alexia. Alexandria Corkins on winning the River Gold Leadership Community Award. We love seeing our former Hawks to go bigger and better things, and, and we look forward to seeing her, um, seeing the heights um, to which she will soar in the future. Um, the Rotary North South Football Scholarship um, had 180 applicants with only 30 winners for the Central Valley Scholarship based on academic ex excellence, community, and extracurricular involvement. Congratulations to Mackenzie Camacho. Thank, Thank you. you. Back to you, Dr. Ching. Thank you. The Sierra Ambulance Service Kathy Kern Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who plans on pursuing a career in medicine or public safety. This year, they are proud to award the scholarship 
to Michaela Lewis. Congratulations, Michaela. The Sierra Masonic Lodge prioritizes leadership skills and extracurricular activities in their scholarship process. This year, they will be awarding a scholarship to Emma Johnson, who will be attending Concordia University next year as a music major. Congratulations, Emma. The Sierra Pines Church Women's Ministry is honored to recognize and bless an outstanding student from Minarets High School with his $500 scholarship. Synovia Wold, the Women's Ministry of Sierra Pines Church, wants to encourage you to continue your pursuit of God and may you continue to look for Him in unexpected ways. And we may you know that He has a plan and purpose for your life. Congratulations, Synovia. The Sierra Cascade Logging Conference is very excited to give the following students this honor as they work towards a career in agriculture, natural resources, or a related field. All these students have been active members of the FFA and in their high school careers and have shown an excellent work ethic and leadership ability. Congratulations to Mackenzie Camacho, Austin Eves, Caitlin Huff, Autumn Pekarovich, Peyton Poor, Rhett Samper, Michael Scheller, and Daniel Speak. Congratulations to all. We'd like Next, we'd like to present the Ray Jones Scholarship. The Ray Jones Scholarship Selection Committee is pleased to announce Darren Coleman as a recipient for the class of 2020. Congratulations. The Ray Jones Scholarship Fund was established in 2009 through the Central Valley Community Foundation to assist California Indian students in pursuing education at the next level. The scholarship was founded in honor of Ray Jones, a graduate of Sierra High School, class of 1965, commemorating the value he placed on higher education and the respect he had for the Mono Chickchancy heritage. Scholarships in the amount of 2,500 up to 5,000 may be awarded each spring to the selected recipients seeking a degree at a two-year or four-year college, university, or vocational technical school. Congratulations, Darren Coleman. We'd like to welcome Autumn Alford with her recipients. Hi seniors, we miss you. On behalf of the Sierra Oakhurst Kiwanis Club, I am happy to present their two scholarships. Their first award goes to Peyton Poor. We applaud the time and hard work that Peyton has dedicated to Key Club as current president, as well as going through the levels of Girl Scouting and many other volunteering opportunities, always managing to maintain good grades, which will undoubtedly put her in a good position to achieve her career goal in the communications arena. The second award goes to Rebecca Townsend. Community service plays a big part of Rebecca's everyday life exhibited by her active participation in Key Club as secretary, as well as many other volunteering opportunities within the club and the community. We hope to see Rebecca come back to our mountain area as a teacher. The Seroptimus International of the Sierras has been serving the Oakhurst area since 1968. They are a global volunteer organization that provides women and girls with access to the education and training they need to achieve economic empowerment. Their programs include high school scholarship awards, Live Your Dream Awards for, for women returning to school, and the annual Dream It, Be It Career Conference for Girls, which encourages girls to pursue their dreams and overcome obstacles to success. This year, their award goes to Michaela Lewis. The Spring Valley Ag Boosters are proud to present four scholarships this year. The first scholarship goes to Mackenzie Camacho. The Spring Valley Ag Boosters are very proud of you, Mackenzie, and wish you the best. You are already accomplishing great things when they believe in you. Austin Eves, Spring Valley Ag Boosters are very proud of you and your accomplishments. They wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Rhett Samper, the Ag Boosters are very proud of you as well and wish you good luck in the next chapter of your life. And Michael Scheller, the Spring Valley Ag Boosters encourages you to pursue your dreams and continue to believe in yourself. The Spring Valley School Parent Teacher Club 
is so proud of their Spring Valley graduates as they move on to the next stage of their lives. Both of their this year's recipients will be going on to further their skills in welding at the community college level. Congratulations goes to Austin Eves and Michael Scheller. Please welcome Mrs. Bourdais with her recipients. Hi seniors, I'm here to present four awards. The first is Tesoro Viejo. The Tesoro Viejo Scholarship recognizes students with a strong interest in pursuing the building trades. The Tesoro Viejo Development Team is thrilled to recognize two students this year who have demonst demonstrated hard work and commitment. Congratulations to Mackenzie Camacho and Austin Eves. Next, Veterans of Foreign Wars post 8743. The VFW Post 8743 honors students who have had a family member who has served in the armed forces and received an overseas campaign award. This year, the VF VFW Award awards a $1,000 scholarship to Michael Scheller. Congratulations, Michael. Next, Vision Academy of the Arts. Vision Academy of the Arts began more than 25 years ago with a group of local artists, musicians, and dreamers as a way to promote the arts through workshops, seminars, and concerts for all ages in our mountain area community. Community support has been generous throughout our history. Through our graduation awards, summer fine arts camp scholarships, and eighth grade star awards, we have been able to give over 175,000 over the years. Our goal has been to provide arts and music to both individuals and groups to inspire creativity while also conveying the importance of keeping these programs in education. We are pleased to recognize one extremely talented graduate from Shawanakee Academy for 2020 in the area of performing arts with an award of $1,000. That person is Emma Johnson. Congratulations, Emma. Your star shines softly on its own, but bright brightly when shared with others. Thank you to Jackie Byers, Sheila Adams, Nancy Iden, and Nicole Hoke, Vision of the Academy of the Arts Board of Directors. Next is the Yosemite Lakes Volunteer Fire Department, Station 10. The Yosemite Lakes Volunteer Fire Department awards scholarships to YLP students who plan to pursue a career in one of the following, law enforcement, firefighter, EMT, medical, or forestry. This year's recipient is Alexandria Corkins. Congratu congratulations, Lexi. Thank you. We'd like to say thank you once again to all of our donors and all the organizations that help us to make this such a special event and such an important event for our students as they jump into the next step of their futures. Students, this is just one more example that the community is behind you and the community supports you. It's been a long journey as you've grown up, gone to school, and committed countless hours to your education and service to the community. Always remember that your community stands behind you. You always have a place to call home. And we're all here as your family to congratulate you and support you as you accomplish all of your dreams and your goals. One last time, we'd like to welcome everybody back up to say congratulations and thank you to the class of 2020. Go big, go pro, go now, and go Mustangs. Congratulations, seniors!